Hello, Tech Coach Chad here, and in this quick tutorial, I'm going to show you how to add screenshots from any document or site that you want into Google Forms. In this use case here, I'm taking some of the primary source documents and images from Benchmark and inserting them into questions and forms. Uh, first things first, let's talk a little bit about devices. I'm using a MacBook, and on a MacBook, there's a couple screenshot shortcuts that are must-knows. Um, the one that I use most commonly is Command, Control, Shift, and then the number four. What that's gonna do is take a uh, screenshot and copy it to the clipboard that you can then paste into anything that you want. Um, for this particular use case today, we want to actually save the screenshot as an image to our computer that we can upload into the Google form. So in order to do that, I'm going to use a slightly different keyboard shortcut for me this time. It's command shift four without the control. Notice how my cursor turns into this sort of crosshair look. Um, once I have that selected, I typically start at the top left of the thing that I want to capture. I'm going to drag a selection box around this particular image and benchmark. Notice down at the bottom right, there's a little kind of thumbnail that pops up that's showing me that this has been saved and it always saves it to the desktop on your Mac. Um, on a Chromebook, the keyboard shortcut is a little bit different. It's gonna be Control, Shift, and then the Window Switch key. I'm gonna actually have two separate documents here. I'm gonna take both this image that I already captured and the primary source document here in the bottom left. So I'm gonna do the same thing again, Command Shift 4 or Control Shift Window Switch. Let's grab this. Notice again, I have my little thumbnail that pops up. Next, I'm gonna head over to the Google form. I've already created two questions that I'm going to add these two screenshots to. The first one, what was the stamp act and why did it anger the colonists? Well, that's a good fit for that image that I captured. So I'm gonna to go to this question and you notice that there's a little button here that looks like um, kind of a, a white background with a mountain. In Google, this is always the button that allows you to add images. I'm gonna go ahead and click on that. And you're gonna see a bunch of different options here. In this case, I wanna browse my computer to find the image that I captured. And remember, I said that it saved it into desktop. On a Chromebook, it will be in the downloads folder that you'll see, but on mine, it's gonna be on the desktop. I'm gonna grab this one here and open it up. It's gonna take a second to upload. After that, you're going to see it attached to the question here. So now I have my image. I have my question that goes along with it. What was the stamp act and why did it anger the colonists? You can resize these if you like, if you find it's too big. I kind of like having it nice and big and dynamic. Let's go down to the second question. Same process again. What is the precedent set by the 1765 Declaration of Rights? Four more years, we will, we will rock you. No taxation without representation, the correct answer, and no Netflix without a subscription. Again, same thing, let's click in here. I'm gonna add an image by clicking on the button next to the question. Upload again. Desktop on my Mac or downloads on a Chromebook. Let's grab my second screenshot. and it's been added. If you want to even make it a little more engaging, you could also add images to each of your response types. But for the use case today, I'm not going to use that. And that's it. So pretty easy. Capture your screenshot, upload it into your Google Form, and you're good to go. If I want to preview what this looks like on the student side, I'm going to hit that I preview button. And this is what they would see. Nice big picture, question at the top, their space for response, second screenshot, their choices, and then the option to submit. That's it. Thanks for watching.